All right, guys, so I've been doing some Rumi Q Wizard videos, and I wanted to show you uh, one of the problems that you'll run into if you try and use wired versus wireless subs. Now, this was uh, a graph I took of all four subwoofers on the same wall. So I had two PB2000s and two PC2000s all on the same wall. And as you can see, it's a pretty good looking graph. It's pretty flat. Uh, it's, you know, it's not bad. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you try and run two wired wireless with two wired subs. Don't look so good. Uh, you know, I'm sitting here running four amazing subs that should be just rocking. And this was my initial setup was, uh, with this purple line. And I'm like, something's missing here. This should be amazing. And this is just no good. And I knew it wasn't the subs because I knew both subs measured exactly the way they should be. And so when I finally got around to measuring it, this is what I found. I didn't know why I was seeing it. And, and so, you know, again, I went back to it, took the measurements with all four subs on the same wall uh, with the, you know, all wired, no wireless involved. And then I found out, yeah, that was my problem. I really didn't know what was going on. I actually emailed SVS and Ed Mullen, uh, he told me, hey man, you don't want to use wired with wireless. It'll, you'll get all sorts of cancellations. And sure enough, he was spot on. It adds delay and it showed my subs being 36 feet away when they were right next to me. So you really don't want to mix wired with wireless. And I would try and run wired all of the time. I would only use wireless in absolutely extreme situations because you can't really make adjustments to the distance once you have set it up with the wireless thing. At least I found that with the Denon and the Marantz. Uh, I wasn't able to adjust it. You try and make an adjustment and it defaults back to like 26 feet or 24 feet or 29 feet. It varies. But this is a major issue you can have with using wireless subs. Um, I'm not saying they're horrible. I'm just saying if you really want everything to be ideal, I think running actual hard wire is the way to go. But I just wanted to show you some of the things you can find by using the Rumi Q Wizard software. So, you know, that's the way a graph should look. And that's the way it looks when you try and run, you know, uh, wired and wireless together. It's just a mess. And, you know, I had someone who is brand new to all of this come here and experience this. And I'm like, man, wait till he hears it correct. Because he was hearing it uh, when he first heard it. He was uh, hearing it like this. And so, you know, it still sounded pretty good to him. But, you know, to me, I was like, this still isn't right. So I can't wait till he comes back over and, and hears it again correct. Uh, because it was just, it was bad at the time, you know. And it, I don't know. But this is one of those things that Rumi Q Wizard can catch. So... Hopefully that helps you guys and some things to look for. Uh, but uh, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe and hit that uh, bell and so you can stay uh, up to date on the newest videos. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you watching.